What's up guys, it's Justin back with another video. Are you done? Okay, as you can tell by the title, it's probably not going to be the most upbeat, fun video. But it is, um, it does need to, I don't really need it, fuck. Okay, I'm having a really hard time, um, being in front of the camera and even thinking about talking about what I'm going to talk about. I've never really, um, I guess, talked about it. I love that. <laughs> I'm trying to have a serious video and my dog is going crazy. Trigger warning. Um, yeah, we're gonna be talking about some touchy subjects holding me back a lot and I don't want it to anymore. I want to live my life. So I guess I just want to talk to you guys about why I've been gone for so long. Basically fell off the face of the planet. Let's, uh, I guess get into the video. I don't, I don't really know what to say. I guess a big question is about a few months ago. It's been a while now, but I had a pretty bad concussion. Yeah, um, the only explanation I think we ever gave you guys is that I fell and hit my head. I really, it took me a long time to come to um, the conclusion of what I had actually done, and I um, been dealing with a lot with um, flashbacks. Oh fuck. <laughs> I didn't think I got this early in the video. I guess the easiest way to put it is that I did it on purpose and I don't know why. I don't know how to explain the feeling. Like I feel like everything is basically a dream. I don't know. Nothing feels 100% real or right. I don't know how to like live in it. There's times where I'll just um, I guess black out. I don't know how else to explain it. Then everything's completely numb. It takes me a good while to remember what happened when I blacked out. So I always just stand up for no reason and pace back and forth before something happens. And then the blackout hits and something happens and then I'll come to and Something hurts. With the concussion, I woke up on the floor. My entire body was completely numb and I couldn't move. I knew I really fucked up. No. I just knew I really fucked up and I couldn't say anything other than just call for Tyler. I told him that I met really hard and um, I just was still, I guess, freaking out. The only thing that hurt at the time was my neck. The bump formed uh, insanely fast. My nose was bleeding. I was super dizzy and I went to go check my pupils once I calmed down a little bit and realized that I really just smashed my face into a concrete floor. And as I was checking my pupils, everything went black. I don't know how to fucking talk about this. I didn't know if I should go to the hospital because when things like this happen, I don't know how to tell anyone so i didn't go to a hospital i just was terrified to sleep the next morning i woke up with two bruises in the corner of my eye googled everything possible to watch for every side effect to see if i was um, dying this is not my first concussion either and i know that concussions do more and more damage on your brain obviously the more you have them this one was probably my most uh, in intense concussion i actually hit probably right up here on my forehead and the swelling went all the way down to here by the first night. You couldn't even see the, the bridge of my nose because my eyes were so, so swollen. <laughs> I thought I was dying. I went to the hospital and <laughs> I was expecting a CT scan almost right away to make sure there's no bleeding in your brain. And they didn't do that. It took four or five weeks for the bruising to go away. Okay, my camera stopped recording. But anyway, I want you all to know just me and I'm not gonna try to hide from the internet when I'm not feeling okay anymore. I'm gonna go on my social media as always down below. And I'm gonna try and share more of my life with you. I don't know, I'll see you soon. Peace out.